Fantastical now fully supports Microsoft Exchange. To set it up, just go to the Fantastical Preferences and then to the Accounts tab, and you can see on the list of accounts, Exchange. I've already got one set up here, but to set up a new one, just hit the plus button, then select Exchange, click Continue, and you can enter the Exchange account credentials and get set up. But since I've already got one set up, let me show you how it works. If I want to create a new event, let's say I'm going to do lunch with uh, Daisy on Wednesday. So I'll say Wednesday, 12 p.m., lunch with Daisy. And this is using all the parsing that I've shown in prior videos for Fantastical. Uh, and then I can, if I want, select a calendar for it. So I will go and select the Exchange calendar. And just like that, I've created a new event in the Exchange calendar for Wednesday at noon. Now, if I select the event, I can do more with it. For instance, Fantastical supports categories, which is a Microsoft Exchange feature. I just need to click on this arrow to see the category list, and I can start adding categories. In Microsoft Exchange, you can actually add multiple categories to a single event, and you can unselect them if you want. If you have multiple selected and you want to change to an entirely different category in Fantastical, just hold down the Option key and click on that new category, and it'll remove the prior categories and just add the new one. Using Microsoft Exchange calendars in Fantastical, you can also see attendee availability for other people. And I'm going to show you that later, but for now, just understand that Microsoft Exchange works great in Fantastical.